Hey, what's going on, guys? We know each other, right? So that's no need for an introduction. But for you guys that don't know me, no, we can't. I'm Castro, right? Castro, Castro, the founder of YS Stocks and Options. So let's go. Let's get to it, right? We're gonna get. We're gonna go straight to the charts. Talk about what exactly we're seeing in the charts. We've done this about six weeks now, and amazingly, we've been we've been pretty precise, right? Very precise, actually. Uh, someone would say that uh, seems like we we know the future. All right, so I uh, just want to show you guys here this text box, right? Uh, just looking at the Russell 2000, that's the first one we're going to start with, daily chart, thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade. And a range for, the true range for um, IWM, as we know, is $3.88. So this one actually had a high of $200. It opened at $197, right, a low of $96, and it closed at $198, right? So in between those numbers, $200, high, and it closed $2 below it, right? So that's it for this one. But... What are we seeing in the charts? What are we seeing? What are we seeing? So let me show you. Right? So for the for the Russell 2000, we've seen this thus far. We've seen downtrend, slight peak up. See, so you guys are seeing this here. Right? We've seen downtrend, peak up, downtrend, up, downtrend, up, downtrend, up downtrend right so really leads me to believe that this is bam went up from here right there right went from here went here big there then it went down boom big there went down as we saw here right peaked all the way up here but then it went down, right? But this really leads me to believe there's still more downside to go, right? So I see on Monday, we had a bearish engulf in here on Thursday. Friday, it closed in a bearish doji, as you guys can see, with higher volume. And of course, the CCI is trending downward, right? Stochastics is flat right here. Flat stochastics, as you guys can see. But it leads me to believe that we're going to see a slight little pop for the upside. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see this. See what we're talking about. Lead me to believe that we're going to have a slight little pop, right, early in the morning, most likely, and then closing the week, right, at $194.41, right? Again, we had a high, and I see this closing a little bit lower here, right, for the week, 194 to be exact, right? See? And I'm being conservative there. So let's go to the queues, Q, Q, Q. In the queues themselves, We're seeing similar trends in the queues, right? You guys know I did these earlier, right? Look at that, boom, right? Textbook, boom, down, downtrend, boom, right? Boom, parallel lines, parallel, parallel, parallel. And hence this one, easy no-brainer, bearish engulfing, right? Doji here, right? And I'm going to go as bold and say that Let's say that. Hmm. Let's say it's going to close just a little bit here, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go as bold as on a seventh, right? Going to the eighth, it's probably going to peak at four, three, 345, right? And then eventually coming down, closing, as I had it here, $328 on, a, on a, the 11th, closing on Friday. As we can see here, the CCI is trending downward, right? So we're going to see a slight little pop. I'm actually being generous here, to be honest with you guys, but slight little pop, and then boom, the rest of the week is going to come down, right? Let's look at the diamonds. Say diamonds are girl best friend, they say, right? Something like that. And what we've seen in the diamonds so far is same thing, right? The only difference with the diamonds is that it, we had, a, of course, we had a bearish engulfing, well, really a bearish doji here uh, on Thursday, and then we had a hammer here, right? So that hammer leads me to believe that we're going to see a slight little pop in the market for the diamonds, right? Uh, we know that the mean is resistance. If it's, if an ETF or stock is trading below it, that's resistance. It serves that resistance. We see the mean right, coming lower, lower, lower. It leads me to believe that on Monday, right, this is a hammer, right, indication of a trend reversal, a hammer that should 
right? Should traject the, the diamonds all the way here, right? And I have it templated for $339.13 for Monday, right? And of course, the rest of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right? I have it going as low as $300. $331.38, right? The stochastics, which is over here, kind of has it going a little bit up, right? But flat overall, right? The CCI, the CCI has it going down right now, right? We might see a light, slight little change on Monday, being that it closed in a, it closed with green volume over here, as we see, right? Closing a hammer. So again, slight little pop, I'm actually being very generous here, slight little pop. And again, fall, falling down for the rest of the week. Doing the same thing over here. Look, look at this. Fell right there. Right? Went up slightly. Fell right there. Right? Say so it's going to go up slightly. And then it's going to fall. Right? Continu continuation of the trend. You guys can see. Right? Boom here, right? See that? Continuation, boom, 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 right? So I see the diamonds closing a little bit lower at the end of the week. Let's look at the VIX. You guys, you guys know I love the VIX. Every trader should pay attention to the VIX when it comes to trading, right? And I drew these lines on the VIX earlier just to bring attention to a few things. Number one, Number one is this, the trend. What we've been seeing so far on a trend of the VIX is that the VIX consolidates ever since November, consolidates a little bit, goes up. Once you see this wick here, right? That's the that's point for the reversal. Comes down, consolidates over here, goes up. You see the wick here, right? The wick is the dark shadow, right? As we call it. The dark shadow comes down, consolidates a little bit. That's the same thing over and over again, over and over again, right? And that's what we've seen in the VIX here. Consolidate a little bit on Friday. Friday, consolidate a little bit, right? And just getting ready for, right, the rest of the week going into quad witching. I think it's going to touch the 40s. Definitely going to touch the 40s. And it leads me to believe that's going to happen easily because of what I saw here, right? Look at this. That has a squeeze forming, formulating here, right? Forming already, boom, right? This is going higher, higher, higher. The CCI kind of flat right now, but it looks like it wants to go higher, right? Look at this, it's been going up, 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 right? And this is a weekly chart. So we know that if the VIX goes up, what's gonna happen to the S&P 500, yes. Since this is the reciprocal of the S&P 500, the opposite is going to happen. So let's check, check out the S&P 500. Same thing with this, these uh, the zigzag lines here. And the volume itself. Same thing. I know you guys see a lot of, lot of stuff on my charts. Though. But bottom line is that I'm seeing the VIX going higher. And if the VIX is going higher, it leads me to believe that the S&P 500 is gonna go lower. So with that being said, we saw here that the S&P 500 closed in a hammer, but it had a small little body, right? Hammer in a slow, small body. We actually went over that technical analysis, right? Tech Thursday, small body, a hammer. So this leads me to believe that on on Monday, boom, we should see a slight little tick, uptick, right? Possibly testing $435. But the rest of the week, ladies and gentlemen, I have it going lower, right? As low as uh, $426, right? Testing this support area here, right? If we look at the aggregate, look what it's been doing. Go up. See, it goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down, hammer, goes up, comes down, bullish, boom. Comes down, we see a hammer here, slight little tick mark here, but the rest of the week, we're gonna see it come down. CCI is evident of that. 
we have a flat uh, stochastics trending a little bit up for the Monday or Tuesday upside, but eventually we're going to see this pivot. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, market forecast. I have the market going down Tuesday, Tuesday, end of Monday, Tuesday time frame. Uh, a lot of pent up bad news in the market right now. I'm going to be buying, as you guys can saw, I'm going to be buying those put debit spreads or whatnot. So hopefully you guys join me. I'm going to buy them all the way to quad witching. So let me know what you guys think. Again, Castro, I always say always practice logical emotions, but more importantly, I'll see you guys at the finish line. Peace and God bless.